Terry Homekost. Buongiorno. Buenos dias. Good morning. Today we're going to read out of our wonderful book, Deep in the Forest 100 Estonian Fairy Tales About the Forest and Its People. Today we're reading The Four Spirits Good Deed. One foggy morning long ago, a hunter set out to hunt in the company of his two sons and two dogs. That morning, the hunter spotted unusually many wild birds and beasts of every kind, but they didn't nab a single one, because every time they fired a shot at an animal or a bird, the bullet always strayed. The sun was already high in the sky, but the hunter still hadn't got as much as a chick. The men's bellies finally started demanding what was rightfully theirs, so the hunters began to eat. While the hunters ate, a man came out of the trees, a rifle slung over his back, just like they had. The man asked the hunters for something to eat. The hunters replied, We'd gladly give you something to eat, but we already brought very little with us. And since we've already eaten that up, there's not much for us to share. Perhaps you might just find a few morsels for me, nevertheless, the stranger insisted. At this, the hunter stood and said, Well, if your belly is as empty as you say it is, then you might as well come and have the scraps we still have left. The stranger immediately began devouring the food with a wolf's appetite. In a blink of the eye, there was nothing left. Then the stranger asked the hunters, Well, do you have anything left for me to eat? No, we don't, said the hunters to the stranger. Oh, well, fine. If you got nothing to give me, then, once I've started to eat, I finally got to get a full belly. With these words, the stranger transformed, transformed into a huge, giant, green man. Jatalane. The Jatalane sees one of the hunting dogs by the tail arr, arr, and swallowed it in a single gulp. Then the Jatalane did the same with the other hunting dog. Now the hunters realized what kind of creature they were dealing with. He was no other than the devil, Vanapagan. Vanapagan! The hunters, of course, started reciting the Our Father backwards, but the Jatalane boomed in a thundering voice, Silence, you dog and his pups! Just like you saw your dogs dropped into my belly, so must you and your sons up there also. But I will give you a chance to escape, you old dog. Look! A watery gray eagle is flying near in the sky. If you strike the eagle with a single shot, then I will let you live. But if you cannot by tomorrow, then you're going in my belly, just like your sons are now. With those words, the Jatanale swallowed the hunter's son, gulp, gulp, and disappeared. The old hunter sat on a stump and started to cry bitter tears. As he sat there, he was approached by an old hag with a hawk's talons and a hawk's beak. The hag spoke to him saying, don't cry, hunter. Look, I give you a silver bullet, load it into your rifle, and then you will be able to shoot down the gray eagle that Vanapagan orders you to. Never in your life would you strike the eagle with your rifle otherwise, only with this bullet I give to you now. The bullet possesses the power of seven kinds of witchcraft and will bring the eagle straight down. Keep, when you've shot the eagle, take the bullet out of the body and keep it. When you, shoot, when you use it to shoot any animal, it will have no way of escaping you. Once you've shot the eagle down, then slice the eagle's belly open and you get your sons and your hunting dogs back alive. Speaking these words, the hag placed the silver bullet into the hunter's palm. The hunter thanked the hag for the precious gift and the good instructions. Then the hag added, Since you do not know me, hunter, I will tell you who I am. I am the forest spirit. Make sure you do not anger me, for if you do anger me, then I want to punish you severely. And when your days are fair, then keep me in mind also. Having said this, the hunter spirit, forest spirit, returned from whence it came. The old hunter then loaded his rifle, raised the muffle, and aimed at the eagle. 
The bang rang out. Boom, boom! And the eagle crashed down before the hunter's feet. The hunter, did, the hunter then did as the hag had instructed. He removed the bullet from the eagle's body, sliced open the eagle's belly, and got his sons and dogs back from the eagle's belly, just as strong and healthy as they'd been when they entered the forest that morning. Every time the hunter shot an animal with a bullet, there was no way to escape him. Later, the hunter became a very rich man. Even so, he never forgot the forest spirit and always gave it its share of his bountiful quarry. Told by Mali Javist, written by Martin Lau in Potamasa Parish, 1893.